Is that your first pop cup, buddy? He's not devouring it like I thought he would. There he goes. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> So the plan for the next few weeks is to take Bowser as many places as possible to starting to get him desensitized to all kind of noises, all kind of smells of food, kids, other dogs, in this case birds. I think with that we could agree that there's nothing more annoying than a dog that doesn't know how to behave in public. And you guys know we like to travel a lot with our dogs. We like to go to a lot of places. So we need little Bowser to get as good as possible and preferably sooner than later. Because we have a few trips that I want to do this year. And of course we are taking the dogs with us. So this is his first restaurant and I choose one that I knew there was going to be a lot of noise and a lot of distraction. In this case, it was a lot of pelicans and seagulls that they were going nuts. Ready? third outing I took him to the food truck fiesta this place is pet friendly is always full of little kids and a lot of dogs a lot of noise they have live music it's crazy he did a lot better than what I was expecting so I'm very pleased with him he even have his first ice cream we were getting ice cream for us and the lady told us that they had doggy ice cream and I couldn't say no he was doing so good and he loved it for his fourth outing, we took him shopping to this is Merrick Park in Coral Gables. It's an outdoor mall and it has fancy stores like Tiffany, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Jimmy Choo, Nordstrom. And while we're spending a lot of time with Bowser because he needs a lot of training, we still haven't taken time apart for Venus and Apollo. We take them on walks together with Bowser because we want him to get used to, to walk with them. As well as we take them for their favorite stuff to do, like going to Starbucks to get papachinos. Go back in. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Me go, B. Make a mess. You know what? I'm going to park. You're making such a mess. Oh dear. I'm Yeah? Yep. He got so excited. He did? He was coming to the front window like... It's very difficult to get up. A tiny dog to lay down. You're already so close to the ground. Sit. Until he get his full vaccines, we cannot take him to an actual training school. But we wanted to start as soon as possible the training at home, at least for the basics. Sit, lay down, and come when called. So far, he's doing pretty good with the sit, but the lay down is giving us a lot of trouble, especially that he's so low to the ground. With Venus and Apollo, it was a lot easier because we could do the movement of the hand to indicate to go down and they actually like follow it but bowser is so tiny when we have him sit he's almost all the way to the ground already also because he's so young we're limiting the training sessions to only 20 minutes a day as he gets older we will increase it more and more Yeah, I haven't sat down yet because he doesn't know what the word means. So he still needs to learn how my hand signals are. 
And I need to perfect that before I start giving him the verbal down. Close up, sit. We are in the Keys and decide to stop by this cute part that we have never actually come before. It's right behind the city hall and it looks really nice. It has this boardwalk with ocean front and you also have a dog park. Definitely I want to bring Venus and Apollo here the next time that we are in the Keys. Look how beautiful and perfect this spot is to read and to chill out. This has to be the most relaxing spot to come to read here in Marathon. This park is a hidden gem. I never knew it was here. I think I saw it one time like a few years ago, but then I completely forgot about it. And now I refound it and I can't wait to keep coming back to read books here. And the best part is pet friendly. Right, Bowser? Is pet friendly? I mean, look how perfect this spot is to put the paddle boards. Venus is gonna love it. We have to bring her. As part of his socialization, we are introducing him to all the little dogs in the family. This one is Sophie. She is my father's in-law's girlfriend's dog. I'm a little nervous. I'm taking Bowser on his first mini trip. We are going to Orlando to the concert of the Hanson Brothers. So not only this is going to be the first time that he goes to a hotel, but also the first time that we leave him alone. And I don't know how he's going to act. I hope he does good. We will see. We are staying at the townie placed by Marriott in front of SeaWorld. It was one of the best one pet friendly hotels in the area. They have like a separate area like that we could have Venus and Apollo loose in one area and Bowser in the other one. This is huge. Yeah. <laughs> they have, they could do exercises here. They do <laughs> You might already know it. Okay. See, we believe everybody here tonight, from the concessions to the front row, all across this great place, that you were born to do something no one's ever done before. And it doesn't mean you have to be the CEO of the biggest company in the world or come up with an idea that nobody ever invented. What it means is you are the only one that can play out your story. You have inside of you something you cannot delegate to somebody else, right? You can say, chase that dream for me, climb that mountain for me, marry that person for me, raise that family for me, chase that dream for me. 
you were born to do something only you can do. Right? So, we say I was born to do something no one's ever done before. You say before your hand goes up high. Right? Let's warm it up. Barking and we don't bark in hotels. Hey, we don't bark in hotels. Come on. Hey. No, Bowser. Stop. That's the face you make when you're too small to jump into the bed. Buddy, you look so sad. What's up, buddy? Good morning, guys. Good morning. We only choose one night to stay as it was Bowser's first time in a hotel and he did pretty good, he only barked a few times so now I'm regretting not getting more nights and going maybe to the parks, to Universal or something but sadly we are going home Well that was it for this week's vlog See you in the next one, bye!